Hmm. Well, I think dropping the resistance is part of it. And dropping the resistance, the resistance to what? The resistance to what? The resistance is holding you back. The resistance to what? What are we resisting? It feels like a lot. It feels like a lot. And so I don't pretend to have all the answers at all. You haven't named one thing. You said it feels like a lot. She's asked you three times, what are we resisting? Name one thing that we're resisting. An answer, a solution that's different than what you think it should be. You literally employ the spiritual bypassing to get around any of the pain associated with oppression. I would love to say love is love. The next time someone sends me a note telling me that they're gonna drown my daughter, I'm gonna be like, you know what? Downward dog it right now, love is love. Love is fucking love. Seriously. So we can acknowledge, I'm gonna acknowledge that yes, after you said that, I can acknowledge, yes, I see racism in me after I've said no because of what you women have said. We have to understand where it hurts. Where hurts, hurts. And we can't take away hurt from other people. I mean, and that's where I think we have to be sympathetic at one point, too. Thank you. Not to add to that a little bit, it's like, we're not dying because we're white. <laughs> I'm not, not allowed to go somewhere because I'm white. Mm -hmm. So... I can say love is love because nobody says, no, you can't. <laughs> yeah. And that's the, the, the purpose. Like, people are saying, you can't come here. Even though we were all taught, right, in history that we, this was fixed years ago. It was fixed. And my, my kids, I will never know what my kids even feel like because they are part Hispanic and with Hispanic. I will never know their fear because I'm not there. I'll never know what they have what they fear. Do you realize that in this room, the Republican that voted for Trump have listened have more listened than you have. And, and, and she changed what she said. She said, actually, I get it. Yes. And yet See you happened? keep saying love is love. And that's why I'm saying white liberal women are the most dangerous because we think we're so good that we can't be part of the problem. So I do want to leave you with this. There's no... And, and I mean this sincerely, my two little kids are at home, my husband's at home, I'm not doing this for my health. The reason I am here is because of love. So to answer your question repeatedly, it is because of love. The work that I do is because of love. Everything I do is because of love. And by showing you my pain, I have opened myself up so greatly to take more and more and more abuse, and why? because I actually believe in you. Sincerely, at the bottom of my heart, I believe that you all can wake up just like I did. You can deprogram yourself just like you did. Still working on it. In, over the course of one dinner, Marnie, you are able to even slightly open the window. I am more hopeful than you will ever know. This should be an indication of the amount of love that I have and the amount of hope that I have. And I have expectations still. Regina doesn't, and you're still here. So why don't you? <laughs> That's not anyway, do not expect it to be easy, because it's not going to be easy. It's, you're going to question everything you ever learned. You know, it's hard. It's hard work. And everything worth having is hard. So, so who in this room, raise your hand if you're a racist. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Woo! We did it! Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I feel hopeful that there's going to be one or two people that gets it. I can guarantee you, I know this with, for a fact, they haven't forgotten. And they're thinking about this every single day. And even if one of them comes out of this in however amount of time and starts down the path, that's a win too. What our job is, I think, a huge part of our job, white people, is to help other white people wake up with us. I think the triggering process for many white women in a race to dinner setting can override the ability 
to just take a moment and go, wait a minute, I need to sit with this. Because we're so trained to, my reaction is right. As white people, it's like it's our white world. What I took away was just being able to recognize how white women react to being confronted on their racism. The defensiveness, the crying, the I don't see color, the I, we all bleed red, or just like using people of color in their lives to justify that they're not a racist. So those tools I think I learned from Race to Dinner. When we were leaving that night, I was feeling sad because I realized how much more work we have to do. To undo systemic racism and misogyny is, is not, is not, I don't even know if it's something I'm gonna see in my lifetime, quite frankly. The first thing that I did when I, when I came home is I made a post on my Facebook and I acknowledged where I see the racism in my own life and thought beliefs. I thought I was already aware of my racism. But what I didn't see was how unconsciously white supremacy lives within me and the true impact of it. What I saw as a result of that conversation was that as a white woman, I am the worst kind of dangerous if I don't wake up to see what's true here and use my power and privilege to take action. I saw that white supremacy is not just a construct of the alt-right, but something that lives within all of us and mostly unconscious to those who want to believe it's all love and light. I saw that racism is not something to hide from or pretend does not exist within me, as to do so keeps the power structures hidden and embedded. I'm exceedingly grateful to Syra Rao and Regina Jackson for their willingness to show up, educate, and put their lives at risk to do it. I'm here to show up for what's uncomfortable so we can heal this pain and stop the violence. Are you? Kung flu, the Chinese virus. Protesters have taken to the streets around the world. So is this the moment when the United States and others recognize the pain of the past, that black lives matter, and reimagine their countries on new values? White supremacy is the most lethal terrorist threat to the homeland today. Now's our opportunity to make some real progress. I have my liquor bar right behind me in case I need to take a drink. <laughs> Oh, we got lots of people coming on. Do we have everyone? Yes? Okay, cool.